Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're gonna to be talking about NFTs. What the f is an NFT? I was wondering the same thing myself um, until I looked it up. So you're gonna be hearing a lot more about NFTs. And full disclosure here, I am not a crypto blockchain person. I don't even own any crypto, but I'm super interested in it as a marketer because it's changing the way people buy things. You can now buy with Bitcoin. You can pay people with Bitcoin. I could pay my team with a company called Bitwage where you pay them in Bitcoin, basically, uh, or cryptocurrency. It's crazy. So that's the world we're going into. So let's talk NFTs. So NFTs are non-fungible tokens. <sighs> What's the easiest way to describe this? And bear with me because I'm still learning this myself. But basically, an NFT is like, I think it's sort of like owning the deed to a house. You own the deed. It's worth something. And it you apply it directly to that house. It's good for just that house. It's not good for that house. It's not good for that house. It's just good for that one house. So an NFT is good for one asset. And right now, this is huge in the arts and collectibles and gaming industry. So it can be applied to physical products or it can be applied to dig digital products. And I was reading about this and it's blowing my mind. So I'm, I'm going to try not to blow yours too hard. The way to think about it is that if you wanted this mug right here, basically, right? If you wanted this mug, this mug has an NFT attached to it, right? So a deed to this mug. So you could go and buy the deed to this mug, and this mug's value might go up or down uh, based on, could be supply if there's more than one of these mugs. It could be demand. Uh, if this mug became super popular because an influencer posts about it, I don't know, something like that, right? And so the value of this mug could go up and down. And if you had the NFT to, to this mug, you would be, you know, you would hold its value, essentially. You could trade that token as it goes up or down, you know, if it's worthless, if the token uh, goes way down because this mug is worthless and you wanted to you know, offload it. It's sort of like offloading a stock, more or less. Um, if it becomes really, really valuable, you could have somebody pay you for the token and you make a bunch of money, actual currency, Bitcoin, cash, whatever it might be, right? So it's a bit confusing right now, and it's even more confusing when you look at what people are exchanging NFTs for. So there's, <laughs> there's a game... Uh, I don't even know the name of the game. What's the name of the game? Uh, crypto Kitties. Crypto Kitties. But you basically collect things, right? So the game is like a collector's game. And the most expensive NFT ever sold was, uh, it's called Dragon. It's like a pink, it's like a pink dragon kitty looking thing. Somebody spent 600 ETH, which is like the measuring the measurement of an NFT, but that's worth about $270,000. So this is a digital thing. This is something that's uh, in the game, you know? Somebody else bought uh, about $150,000, so I could be off on that, 415 ETH uh, for an F1 car, a one, it's called 1-1-1. Um, it's the first release in this collector's game where you can collect F1 cars. By the way, F1's huge in like Europe and and it's it's big in America, but it's really big uh, in in other countries. So somebody paid somewhere around one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the digital version of this car, and they're collecting it digital digitally. Another one that might make a little bit more sense to some of you out there is that sneakers, right? Sneaker collectors, it's big business. It's like a thirty billion dollar industry, collecting you know limited release sneakers. And there was a company um, that. Uh, I think their name is Architect, but it's like letters, like R, K, whatever. Architect designed this Nike sneaker, and um, they held like a bidding, like an auction, and they, they you, you bid with NFTs, and they bid it, and the higher it went, like the more they designed like new renditions and things like that. And the winner, I don't remember how much they paid, but it was it was like 30 ETH or something like that, so good amount of money, and the, they won, and they got a digital asset, which means they didn't actually get the physical, the original sneaker. They just got a digital copy of it, 
but it's the only one out there. And so the question I had is like, well, couldn't you just like screenshot that and then put it? You could. You could screenshot the photo of that sneaker and put it up on your wall if you wanted it as like sneaker art, which is a huge thing. Or you could have the original. So now it goes back to like art. You could have an original Van Gogh or you could have a replica. The original is worth a shitload of money. The replica is not worth anything, but it looks the same. That's sort of what we're dealing with here. Now, let me end with how this is, why this is, if you're still with me and you're nerding out on this stuff, this is why this is important. Because you can have an NFT for a physical item or a digital item, uh, and you are the only one to own that particular NFT, it's, it's a one of a kind. This is going to be big when you talk about buying a, a supply and demand. So if you're in any industry that works off of customize, customization, um, scarcity, limited quantities, any of that type of stuff, NFTs will probably eventually creep in to your industry. And you will, bu- you will buy and sell an NFT based on the supply and demand of that particular product and the volatility of whatever market that might be in. So it's a super interesting concept. I'm still learning about it. I decided to switch on the, pot, the film a podcast here because I think it's something we're all going to be hearing a lot more about. But at least as of now, think of it like the deed to a house. And uh, if any of you out there are listening or watching this and you want to tell me I'm totally full of <laughs> I need to think about this a different way, please do. Uh, hit me up on LinkedIn, DM me on Instagram, um, or hit me up on Twitter and shoot me a message. But uh, they're, they're, they're super interesting, and I can see that a lot of application happening over the next decade plus. Um, but stay tuned. Our world is changing. Listen, if you thought this was interesting, leave me a review over on Apple or, or Google Play. Uh, hit that five-star button if you felt it. If you didn't, leave me a star, but tell me why. I'm trying to make this better for you business builders and marketers out there. Uh, But I think a lot of us are going to be marketing products uh, and selling products using NFTs and definitely cryptocurrency in the near to mid-near to mid-far future. But until then, we'll see you next time.